Hare Krishna. So today we'll start with Bhagavad Gita 1.32 till 1.35 verse. So if you can see the translation in Sanskrit below this video. So it's a quite big verse. So we'll translate this verse into the basic simple English language. So let's get started. Arjuna has addressed Lord Krishna as Govinda because Krishna is the object of all pleasures for cows and the senses. By using the significant word, Arjuna indicates that Krishna should understand what will satisfy Arjuna's senses. But Govinda is not mean for satisfying our senses. If we try to satisfy the senses of Govinda, however, then automatically our senses are satisfied. Materially, everyone wants to satisfy his senses and he wants God to be the order supplier for such satisfaction. The Lord will satisfy the senses of the living entities as much as they deserve. but not to the extent that they may covet. But when one takes the opposite way, namely when one tries to satisfy the senses of Govinda without desiring to satisfy one's own senses, then by the grace of Govinda, all desire of the living entity are satisfied. Arjuna's deep affection for community and family members is exhibited here partly due to his natural compassion for them. He is therefore not prepared to fight. Everyone wants to show his appearance to friends and relatives. But Arjuna fears that all relatives and friends will be killed on the battlefield and he will be unable to share his appearance after victory. This is typically calculation of material life. The transcendental life, however, is different. Since a devotee wants to satisfy the desire of the Lord, he can, Lord, willingly accept all kinds of appellants for the service of the Lord. And if the Lord is not willing, he should not accept a farthing. Arjuna did not want to kill his relative. And if there were any need to kill them, he desired that Krishna kill them personally. At this point, he did not know that Krishna had already killed them before their coming into the battlefield. That he was only to become an instrument for Krishna. This fact is disclosed in following chapters as a natural devotee of the Lord, Arjuna did not like to retaliate against his miscreant cousins and brothers. But it was the Lord's plan that they should all be killed. The devotee of Lord does not retaliate against the wrongdoer, but the Lord does not tolerate any mischief done to the devotee by the miscreants. The Lord can excuse a person on his own account, but he excuses no one who has done harm to his devotees. Therefore, the Lord was determined to kill the miscreant, although Arjuna wanted to excuse them. This was a beautifully, beautifully illustration, beautiful verse. I personally like this verse. It was so much relatable in our life also. And I deeply understand this verse. Even if you can just relate to yourself and if you can just understand this verse, this is very, very helpful for our lives. I hope you like this video. If you like it, this definitely upcoming in your life. It will be very helpful to you. We'll meet you into the another video. Till then, Hare Krishna.